Mario! Everyone! Must be here back in action for the final showdown attraction. That's right, it's the final battle, baby! In the final countdown! Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. I don't know how the rest of the song goes. But, it's the final dungeon, y'all. This is Nick. So, finally going to invade the Millennium Tower. How'd you... Are you watching us or something? Through a screen, yeah. One of my guys is streaming a video of you to my computer. Okay. And? Well, Tendo himself went inside the place, just like you predicted. That was two hours ago. He'll be in there. Oh, yeah? Awesome. Thanks, man. Hey, Ichiban. This is your Demon Lord's Tower. And Tendo's waiting for you on the top floor. I'll be listening for the victory thing, my friend. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Aw. Nick is like surprisingly cool. That's great. Looks like they brought out the welcoming party. You guys ready for this shit? Here we go! <laughs> the way he just plopped down, like, oh my god. I feel like this was kind of like added at the end bit. Am, 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 I, am I wrong on that impression? Because it definitely feels like that. Suffice to say, everybody, this is the team we're going to be going into the final battle with. And it should be fairly interesting. Let's do Spin Queen. Because Spin Queen, best queen. Baby! I should have gone further. Oh, we don't do a lot to them. We do not! Oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. Essence of full swing. to enemy area. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take area. Er area. <laughs> enemy. Area. I don't know why that was hard for me to say, but it was. That's so cool. There's a freaking tornado ass thing, baby. Yo, yo, they they they, they took a beat. Here we go. Just like full out, man, full out. Oh, she doesn't have a lot. Why does she have a lot? I swear, multiple enemies? Oh, yo. Heck yeah. We're doing it. Up and at him and all around him. Nope. I don't think so, bud. Sorry. As you could tell, I have a bunch of like really cool weapons and whatnot. And I'm not sure if you noticed previously before or whatnot, but I try to like upgrade them just a little bit more uh, in terms of things. Uh, Ichipon seems to be just Right as rain in terms of things, and uh, we're doing real good right now. We're doing real good. Getting all these together and whatnot. Like these job breaks uh, actually really help with. Uh, they really help with um, like health, health and whatnot. Is it going to be like this the whole way up? Heck no, that'd be insane. Again, we are on their radar now. Yeah, there's no telling what's ahead. Stay alert, people. Okay. Oh, we got hand grenade. Well, that, that that don't be that something else, right? 
But at the very least, we get to look around here. What is this thing? Mystery fruit. Why is mystery fruit here? That is very odd. But I try to prepare as much as possible. Everyone is at, like, pretty much level 61 except for Kazuga. Kazuga is... Wait, does Kazuga have things? You know what? Let's just look at our gear really quick. Just so you all can see just what exactly I had going on here. So I, um... Ooh, I should not actually have that. The prevent enemy on the streets. Uh... Yeah, the War God Talisman would actually be better uh, than Boost Critical Hit Rate. Because, like, Boost Critical Hit Rate's good, but it's not what I want. But I have both these things so I could get MP and then I, I decrease MP of skills so I could use his stuff. He has a lot more HP now and he's uh, getting more XP, all that such. Pretty much the rest of them go to that. Um, she has the, the um, Gambler's thing because... Uh, Honestly, I found Gambler to be one of the stronger jobs out there. Like, I'm generally surprised how good Gambler actually is. So, um, I'm pretty sure we'll be really good on that. Um, same thing with, with uh, Night Queen. Really good, honestly. Um, we could probably, like, give a better thing here instead of just, like, unaffected by sleep. Let's give her something a little bit better, right? Is it, it, we should be good. Let's see here. Slightly increased resistance against men. Yeah, that might be good, but... Let's see here. Boost critical hit rate might actually be better during battle. Yeah. I don't think there is a particular thing for that. And then there's just like MP will go up. We could do MP going up. That wouldn't be too bad. We'll do MP going up. Because like critical... Mm, well, she does hit a lot. We'll, we'll give her critical. We'll give her the critical hit. Um, she already has a filled and he needs that HP, so that's why we have it there. So, that's fine. Uh, the rest of them are pretty good, too. Um, they're here just in cases, but I don't think we're gonna really need them, need them. Uh, suffice to say, I did not go with the true jobs, quote-unquote, the, the jobs that they actually have. Um, but, yeah. Also, freaking Kuwami, uh, Demon Blade. Crazy stuff. It is, like, barely stronger than, uh, the Sakura Blade. Which I was surprised by how, like, good the Sakura Blade is. And I was kind of like, oh, I should have got that earlier. Oh, well. It's fine, everybody. It's fine. It's not like we had a whole lot. And it's definitely been a ride to get here. We had to go through so many things. And, like, honestly, this is, like, the biggest LP I ever had to do in terms of this channel. And I'm really happy for it. Like, I don't think we're going to, like, be beating this, the, um the episode of but like this is the start of the end like we don't have much more than this we got like what maybe like five episodes tops if no not even five three episodes on top i really doubt it's gonna get longer than that i really doubt it folks <sighs> but i'm really happy with this game overall i don't like the difficulty spikes at certain points it was definitely like a big ug um, I'm not big on bowling, but. <laughs> I'm not big on bowling, but. But! <laughs> Jeez. So, like, overall, I'm def definitely, like, really overjoyed by how well this game actually was. And generally speaking, I just like it. it it's good. Yo. Yo, get it. I think pretty much the only people that need the skills are the girls. And that's not because um, they can't hit like a truck. It's just that they hit multiple people very easily. Yeah, see, look at that. <laughs> see, this is why you use Gambler. Gambler's like the best at like various stuff, I swear. I mean, good for you, buddy. Like, like, like try what you can, right? Oh, but pretty much as soon as you beat Kiryu, I'm pretty sure you're actually good for the final boss. But I decided to just, like, like double down because I did not want to trust that shit. I did not want to trust it. We aren't like super leveled up, but we are leveled up, you know? So that's pretty good. And uh, pretty much, I think only Kiryu's was the actual problem point. Like, Majima's is just like... 
pretty much, oh, <laughs> hey, you have to actually, like, go do the thing that we showed you to go do. So Kiryu's is, is definitely one where it's just like, why wasn't there a dungeon beforehand? Look at like, honestly go. speaking, I, I don't feel like Kiryu was needed as much as as they wanted him to be. I definitely would have loved him more in terms of a cameo battle rather than he just, like, be in here. And, like, that is, like, a solid, like, you know, like, if they can rework it, that's fine. I, I generally do not mind. It is a very mild complaint overall. Like, Kiro's section in this entire game is, like, the bad difficulty spike. Like, honestly, it is. And it's, like, a difficulty spike of, I want to say, like, probably, like, a few levels. Cool. Meanwhile, Majima's is just a little bit, like... Majima's guided towards something, but, like... It's definitely one of those things where it's just like, why don't you just make me do this to begin with, you know? At least a certain amount of levels. It would have been nicer, is all I'm saying. Because being forced to do the, um, the little thing and they're like, there's no story, it was just like straight up battle after battle after battle. Hence why it was not shown on here, because it literally was just battles. Um, minute two, just go like, okay, yeah, that's fine, whatever. But y'all weren't missing much. Same thing with the sheep thing. The sheep thing wasn't very missable. The the good jolly good stuff was the dragon cart and was uh um all the other stuff beforehand, all the sub stories and whatnot. And I think we did a really good job, honestly, uh, in terms of like covering everything. I'm generally surprised that we pretty much did the whole game. Like honestly, legitimately enough. Um, I usually don't complete Yakuza games, but, like, I definitely feel like I want to complete uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon because it seems to be very, um, um, geared towards, like, hey, yeah, you can clear it. There's definitely a mini-boss ahead. <laughs> There's a mini-boss? Oh my god. Okay. Where are you, mini-boss? This is a mini boss? Is it though? Well, there's big chunky majunks. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. So, spin, queen, spin, queen. There's Dr. Black. Every time, like, I want to, like, get to a thing, like, it's just a little bit, like, like, more than I thought it would be, you know? Like, it's hard to like aim it. That's the other problem with this game is the the enemy arena things is just kind of hard to do. I'd rather just have like a multi-target thing, but like that's not very realistic, right? So I get it. Again, these are all super minor complaints. Generally speaking, I had a great time with this game. Like if I beat it, if I beat this game in 2020, it would have been my 2020 game. It would have been. I don't even remember my 2020 game. To be honest, the one that I like the most. Shoot, I'm gonna have to figure that out, aren't I? I don't remember. Oh my god. Oh god. Yeah, they're actually hard. We need to. Okay. Uh, power exchange. Very okay. Uh, okay. Candle rush. I'm not back. How do we do that? Candle Rush, baby. Mm, right. We'll just have Kazuga actually heal everybody. Kazuga, surprisingly enough, fits the bill for like everything. He is so well randomly rounded. And it just makes me sad that like debuffs, just generally speaking, are not that good. And just like, I wish they would be better, you know? Yeah, the whole issue. Yes, yes. Like, they were close to it. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, having debuffs is really good. And you could do it to enemies and whatnot. You could do it to, um, bosses. But you can't do it enough. Like, if I have a thing that just does statuses, like, let me just do the status on the boss. Even if it's just, like, for a turn, that'd be enough. But, like, making something totally ineffective just, like, sucks ass. I don't mean that in, like, a very mean way, it's just, like, that's how every RPG thing does it. Legitimately. And that makes me sad. 
because I don't want it that way. Uh, we could probably actually get the and we'll get a decent amount of people. Hoping this will we'll do it. We got rid of one dude. That's good. Oh, we, we brainwashed this fool, didn't we? Oh no, no we got to go. These kids. Ah! Bastard. Oh, God. Oh, this ain't great. I guess we're gonna have to call a pound mate. What well, we pound mate? Not Kiru. I don't want to use Kiru just yet. We have Matsuru, uh, Watashi, and we have this dude. Uh, say the word, and a mysterious weapon shop owner will arrive to test out his newly sharpened sabers. His terrifying demonstration uh, lacerates all enemies and may cause bleeding. Heck yeah! Let's do it, baby. This is technically a mini boss, so let's do it. Kiro's being saved for like the end point, y'all. That's that's gonna be a special surprise. Fresh meat, nothing personal. I wonder how long this dungeon is. I mean, not that, like, I really mind, to be honest. Like, this is our last bit. It just, it feels so reminiscent, you know? Jeez, it's been a long time, right? Oh, yo! Fro-yo! That got everybody. Oh. Ah, dang it. No! Oh. Yeah, we need to get rid of the dude that actually kills. No, thank you. That was rude. Okay. Mm. Yeah, let's let's get rid of Dr. Black. Okay. Whoa! Holy crap! Holy crap, dude! That is a power move! Damn, girl! You moving it! Uh, yeah, let's let's just do this again for funsies so. there. No dying on that. Ah! Oh, you bastard. Oh. Okay. At least I can. Character strike. You don't really need to do that. Boundless cheer. Lucky dice. Hmm. Uh. Bombardier bash? I don't think we've done this. Let's see it. Turtle kick into suplex. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. God dang. Hmm. Didn't look like it did a lot though. That's not great. You sure you can beat me? Okay, so let's go ahead. Get some endless desire, baby. Because like we're gonna be here for a bit just taking down these guys. They're just, they're just, they're just not going away. Are they? Um, heavy extreme. Let's go. It seems extreme is, is is the better of the bunch. So we'll do that to you, buddy. Hey yo. I almost, I almost got that that time. That did pretty good. Pretty good. Ah! It was, it was pretty good. Oh jeez. Okay. Cool. All right, guys. I got like what do I can do here? People that need to be healed, sort of. I think we did got some impression it. bad already. You sure you want to get hurt? I don't think we really do anything in particular. Huh? Uh. Who do I call? I wouldn't yeah. underestimate me. And we have this dude. Humans only. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to do a thing. You sure you want to get hurt? Let's do it. Yeah, we'll just attack him. It's fine. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Oh, hold the flea. Okay. I never actually fled a battle, to be honest. Like, these battles are ten- uh, are, uh, thankfully easy. 
I know a lot of people out there are like, oh, so I wish this game was harder. I do not. No, thank you. I've had enough runs with, like, harder games. Give me easy games like Grandia and, like, Yakuza. Uh, like a dragon. Those kind of RPGs are actually pretty freaking alright. Especially when it comes to certain things, you know? Like, that's the kind of stuff that I like. Oh, Joker. Joker, baby. Not again! Why always her? Cool, no longer got a cold. Alright, buddy. You're gonna get hurt, too. What's up? Get the crotch, get the crotch, everybody stab the crotch. <laughs> hey, bud, you're still down there. Don't, don't think. Rankings, they're going up, maybe. Excellent. Nice. Yes. Okay. Let's see here. Gotta, gotta heal. Really tasty. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, I gotta fill in this one a lot longer. We're at 13. We we'll probably have like a hundred floors to go. Let's be real. This this is gonna be a lot longer than than it's we'd be looking. <sighs> Feels so crazy that we've been like going through so much of this game. I'm so happy about it, y'all. I really, really am. This game was just truly a delight. And just honestly, what a great way to like reboot Should I open it? Well, soft reboot the Yakuza franchise. I'm genuinely happy about it. Illegal boots. What's with illegal boots? I want to see. Wild and rugged boots made for lawbreakers. <gasps> but Kiro, <laughs> but Kazuga doesn't break the law. Kazuga's a good boy. A good boy. Yeah, you may be Yakuza, but he's not no criminal. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. I think another thing that I like about this game in particular, to be honest, uh, is the found family trope. And boy howdy, if you know me, <laughs> I am all about the found family tropes. It always makes me happy to see um, any kind of thing, uh, the found family, be it like media, video games, re uh, books, uh, anything, honestly. Once Found Family happens, I'm just excited for it. I'm like, yeah, of course I love Found Family. I'm gay. What did you expect? That's just how it goes. <laughs> gay people love Found uh, Found Family because that's just how it goes. Uh, a lot of people are rejected by their family and whatnot. It makes me really sad that like my friend had to go through that, um, through that personally, and just I really wish the best for them. I really, really do because like. They don't deserve to have such heartache. Nobody does. To have, like, your parent just go, like, I don't want you? That's what makes Found Family so great, because, like, for the most part, they're always unorthodox families. Like, it's like a like a young teenage girl and, like, a very old curmudgeon man going, like, Oh, I guess I'll protect you or whatever. You're my daughter now or something. Moving up. Ugh, I fucking hate it here. <laughs> they always do that stuff. Like, even that 70s show had Found Family, baby. Like, Look at that's go. how good Found Family trope is. And that's another thing that I really find confusing about a lot of people going like, but it has tropes and stuff. Like, your point being, tropes are good. Do you know why they're called tropes, my dude? Because, like, there's a difference between someone not executing a trope, a trope well and just having it for the sake of having it. Because they assume that the trope makes um the product better and it doesn't you can't just put found family in everything it just doesn't work all the time like if you don't do anything with a family and whatnot you just like have that it's kind of like a sort of mess situation uh especially when it comes to like how the family works and interacts and things like that like there's just so many different interactions with family especially found family um that are so easy to interpret as wrong and whatnot, like, the fact that there's so many, like, like problems with just sibling relationships and whatnot, of, like, people just, uh, single, 
single sibling, uh, <laughs> um, kids, um, riders, there you go. Uh, pretty much going like, hey sis, hey bro, as like the common standard interaction is kind of like, that's, that's not how it goes. Um, I wouldn't particularly know because I only got siblings in my, my early 30s, effectively. Um, I got my brother, I want to say, in like, tw uh, when I was like 25 or something, and like, my brother is technically older than me, than me. We adopted him effectively, and it's so lovely. Like honestly, I love my brother so much. Like, like honestly, like I would sit for my brother wholeheartedly. Like I just love him that much. In terms of things, and just like that's another thing too, though. Simpin, one ain't easy. For two, um, you just it's it's not only sexual, fam. It's just like, hey, yeah, I really, really love um, this person, and I hope the best for them and every joy in the world, you know? Uh, and it just be that way. It just, it's just, sometimes it's just a relationship dynamic. I, I, I don't know how else to explain it better. And uh, I'm not always saying simping is healthy. We're trying to promote it in the sense that, like, everyone should be a simp. No, God, no. Um, it's just lovely to see that happen. It really is. And just like sometimes you see that in found families where just like, yeah, you know, this person had a bad life and I really want them to just like have a good life and I will forever and ever. I love this dude. I love the dark super. He is my easily favorite enemy in this entire game. Why the fuck were they hiding him? Where was he in the rest of the game? Come on, my dude. This is messed up. I'm so I'm I'm kajiga mad. Oh my god! We could have had Dark Sweeper here, and this is what they do to me. Love this kid so much. Oh, was that? Are you are were you trying to anger Kazuga? Bro, that's not gonna work. Kazuga's chill as a coupon pump. Put up. But yeah, just like, it's just a great to see people being like, hey, I really love and support you, and I'm very happy that you were born. And I can say without a shadow of a doubt that I am happy that my brother was born. I am happy everyone that I knew is born. I'm happy you're born, Bjorn, because you're watching this. I mean, something's not wrong with you. Maybe something is. I forget which one it is between the two. Either way, you and me, viewer, we're, we're through this. Okay, fam? <laughs> That's why I like calling people fam. It's just like suddenly you're adopted in this, this agency. Surprise, surprise. You're all secretly a family along the way. The real LP was the family we made along the way, y'all. That's what it's always been. You may not have believed it, but boy, howdy, we've seen it. I like how he keeps slipping. My dude, wh 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 what you doing? You wanna try that again? Oh, he's, he's just... He's just one damage. Why is he one damage? What is he doing? Okay. Ew, that was gross. Well, Dark Sweeper's gone. Oh, I got this mess. Well, yeah, we could do more than one damage to him. I don't know why she only does, like, one. Right. Okay, so he's not doing one damage no more. Maybe he was like defending or something? Did Kazuka seriously attack him with like a phone? Like, damn, my dude. Savage. Like, I know Kazuka's like generally like, actually like good at his job, which is, you know, getting money back from people. But still. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Safe to day 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 day. Go day 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 day. Very good, very good. So far, we're going through this whole entire thing with very minimal complications. Oh, and that's what I like to see. Way up. More stairs? Oh, we're really gonna take these the whole way? Well, yeah, that's what they're there for. Ugh, my feet are gonna kill me. Yeah, bro, she's Love wearing heels. There are options, but there aren't any. We just gotta suck it up and go. Oh, bro, fine. you're not wearing heels. Kazuka, I love you. I think you're one of 
like the closest men out there that I would generally love and care for. But for real, bro, she's in heels. Like, fucking let her just, like, complain and shit. She needs this. Okay? Uh-oh. Okay, okay. Phew. Phew. We made it past one midpoint. Let's let's keep going, y'all. We ain't crying bananas here. Oh. I'm, I'm, there's, there's something fishy around here. You know there is. What's going on? Why 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 is there menacing music planning? And no no enemies. Oh dear. Okay. No, that's fine. What up, Office Beaten? I'm here to destroy your place and your birthday cake. Turns out too much frosting. Yep, them's the rules. No more frosting. Also, y'all, isn't it a little bit weird that like work culture is effectively just getting free cake? Like, no lie. Like, here people are like like getting mad at like everybody for like whoa. <laughs> Like, oh, y'all don't, uh, work enough, and, like, nothing should be handed out free to you. But then work gives you free cake. Like, literally what Mary Anto not said, you know what I'm saying? Do, do y'all not see the irony in that? that it, it's effectively that. I mean, like, talk about bread and circus here. You know what I'm saying? Cool. You not know what I'm saying. I'm referring to the fact that the Romans, in fact, actually, um, uh, caused a lot of their political disruptions and whatnot. Um, by answering it with blood and gore, usually in the sense that they would actually entertain the whole entire public by giving them bread and also um, making people like get fed to lions and whatnot. Usually conflicts, uh, uh, gone, conflict, jail people and whatnot, but sometimes they were political enemies in the latter section. Sometimes they were warriors. But the point being is that they were also entertained. When you were full, of food and you're entertained, yeah. you tend to ask less questions. Yeah. Them's just the rules. I don't know how else to explain that to you, everybody. Oh. That's just how it goes. Nice. So this to say. There we go. Um, yeah. Pretty much, uh, kind of surprised and just, just how much work is a suck. And I'm generally confused when people are like, yeah, work, work is like, um, work, work, uh, like, you should work all the time and, like, everyone should have to work at everything and just like, what the fuck, no? If, if you have a full-time job, you should be able to, one, just one, be able to live to have affordable wages. And I don't feel like this is a big political viewpoint, and if it is to you, I'm generally concerned why you're here. Do you understand that my political views are vastly different than yours, and while I don't always put them in, I do like to, like, spread them out throughout the LPs and whatnot. Like, like just kind of, like, put out that uh, political vibe there. Because, like, everything's political. Even your pants, buddy. That's right. They were made by, um... <sighs> well, depending on everything. Probably small children. Not gonna lie. Um, there is no ethical consumption over capitalism. But also, it is our duty to make sure to not feed the beast as much as we can. Walk and tread line. Point being! Um... <laughs> just generally speaking, I like... I, I, I like the fact that I work the very less hours that I do. I like the fact that I don't have to worry about, like, not having, like, time off and stuff. Even if I do just, like, stream or something like that. Like, I generally feel happy about myself. And, like, work may suck, but I can handle it. But how people work five days is beyond me. And, like, that's gonna be, like, what, what do you mean? Like, are, aren't you lazy, Lost? What, 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 what you thinking about? Like, no, 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 no. I've never actually worked five days in the head. No, I worked five days like once in my life, I think. I may have worked it in, in uh, when I used to work at Walmart as well, but like Walmart is such a flashback in the past. I generally don't remember um, my time at Walmart. And I'm a little concerned by that because it's just like, what does that mean? Like nothing bad happened, but what does it mean? 
Um, suffice to say, okay. um, I'm happy about a lot of other things. Uh, with, with how I do things and whatnot, but it always concerns me when I see co-workers and whatnot just not being able to do anything and just like barely being able to like live off the stuff that they have and whatnot and like I still have co-workers that live with their parents and like they're not entry-level employees they they are in fact manager status and whatnot which I suppose uh, in most retail would be just like a supervisor. I don't know why they call it managers. You have to ask my, my workplace. Suffice to say, um, it makes me sad that these people just cannot get ahead in life at any degree. They don't get enough time off. They don't get enough anything. And I just would want them to have like a four day week and also have it to where they could, um, have a good vacation time and like are able to actually have good benefits to where they'd be like, hey, this job isn't so bad. I probably won't leave it because job security and whatnot. But like the majority of people that I talk to in my job are like, yeah, I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave this job. And that makes sense. And that's the sad thing about a lot of the, the, the job statuses in America and whatnot. And I'm sure it's not exactly well known in the sense that like i don't know the details of it from a lot of european people but a lot of them are going like yo how do you keep up with this we're not um we are fed breadcrumbs in terms of like what we could deal with and what we could live with and whatnot and it's just generally concerning that like the rich people are just not helping us whatsoever and just like I don't mean it in the sense that like rich people should help us uh, but I also mean it in the sense that they don't understand that at some point the, the back is going to be broken and we are going to start a riot we're going to start to like actually be violent like like Paris France type riots not not the Black Lives Matter riots that they were talking about where people were dancing and stuff. It's really confusing that those are called riots. But you know we live in a certain time. And it's just kind of like, oh man, that sucked. But I don't know what else to say uh, in terms of the situation because it's just kind of like, suck all around? It just is suck all around. And like, I don't mean to like put this like with the rest of this game here, but like, honestly, this is what the game keep, keeps making me think of, and like, there's no way you could play Yakuza and not see the political stances that they have here. They're generally unfavorable to a lot of uh, Japanese uh, culture and whatnot, like sex workers are here, um, orphanages, and like the whole entire idea that Yakuza's um, generally like are just dealt with the hem that they're given and they try to do what they can in terms of living and whatnot. And that's just how it goes, honestly, sometimes. You're generally, like, dealt with a bad hand sometimes. And you can't lift yourself up by your bootstraps that way. You just can't. Um, not to mention the fact that's the whole entire thing's a fallacy, but you know, like, I'm not actually to listen to that. Everyone that knows it knows it. Everyone that doesn't just keeps repeating it. They're not going to learn the lesson. Very, very hard thing to, to go about and whatnot. And I'm not trying to, like, change minds here with people. I know people are going to have the same opinions that they're going to have and whatnot. I'm just telling you what I have so you can kind of stay away from me. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. Like, I generally speak Like, if you could tolerate my views and whatnot, fine, whatever. I'll probably still keep saying them. Hopefully someday you'll come around. But I'm not going to exactly harbor any ill will against you. But, I'm not here to, like, be super nice and nice with everybody. That's just not my gig. The the riot blood uh, runs strong within trans people. It just does. It's in our veins. Shaked entirely into us. I don't know how else to put it, you know? So it's really just one of those things where it's just like, huh, yeah. I can't really stay quiet, can I? And it's true, I can't. I, I wish I could. But I just get so angry sometimes when it comes to these things and whatnot. Not like in the like the mean sense of like to everybody, but just in the sense that I wish people would understand more. Um and, and they would try to help out more in terms of peace. And like 
I do try to be as friendly and as nice as possible. I'm not saying I always am that way. I don't. I don't think that's the case at all. So it's not always a hundy. You know what I'm saying? But still. I'm, I'm just generally trying to like be like. You know, hopefully. Hopefully things get better. So hopefully with the Berserker Spirit. Raise defense all of the flame song. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I might as well. Let's raise the stats. <laughs> okay. Really? This dude still ain't out here. Let's go! Okay. Let's get Pavka up. Hopefully you can get him. This is the only other thing I really hate about this game. It's just like, if enemies disappear, there's no way to get them. And it's like, what the hell? He should not be, like, using dig like this. There you go. There you go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Look at me go. Look at all those level ups. It's so divine. It's so divine. All right, everybody. This is either going to be the halfway point at which we reach a save point. Get it? <laughs> or we'll continue on from this very point. Now, will we know? Find out next time. Or right after I just say the sentence. On Yakuza. Like a dragon. Got it.